For many years, I've been experiencing the same nightmare. My mind loves to reconstruct over and over my memories from the moment when I've been falling to the underground, without any idea if I will even survive it. But the last night's dream, it wasn't me who was the main character. Weird. Huh? It's morning already? I can't believe I fell asleep while painting. Again. Thank God Mom can't see this mess. What? Asriel uploaded a new video last night. Wow, that makes five videos a day. He must be really bored or he takes his gamer career very seriously. Howdy, my name is Azaplier. Welcome to the third episode of my eighth room, Jelly Beans Love, the second game released by Monster Gaming. I'm going to do the happy ending again. Promise I won't cry this time. No, he's just a total idiot. Jeez, means I have to find better entertainment for him. I am Chara, Chara Dreamer. I'm a human living in the underground filled with monsters. The situation hasn't changed for years. Because I'm a part of the royal family that treats me like their own child, you could call me princess. What nonsense. One day, I've decided to leave the castle and try to live here like a normal citizen on my own. But... But you might try your new lunchbox. For you, it's free. Miss Dreamer, here's a hot chocolate with extra cream for you. Monsters are much too kind. Not like these rotten creatures we call humans. Oh, you shouldn't have. Thank you. Years ago, I wanted to commit something stupid. I'm not that dumb anymore. Does it mean I gave up all my revenge? No. I'm just waiting for a better opportunity. Besides, how can I even think of any revenge? Good morning, Asriel. It's time to wake up. I have some sandwiches for breakfast. <laughs> uh, uh, give me uh, one more hour. Get up, it's 10 already. Do not wanna playing all night. God, you're still sleeping with that plushy Tammy? How old are you? Who cares? Mm. Move your lazy ass, <laughs> you moron! Do that again, I'll burn you to ashes, I promise. Well, you promised to wake up earlier. You knew I was gonna be playing the whole night. And I wouldn't mind if you cuddled up to me instead of screaming. What? N nothing You're right, that'd be a wonderful idea. Your fur is so soft and cozy, I could kill you and make a coat from it, just to be able to feel its warmth on my skin any time I want. But unfortunately, you'll turn into dust after death, so forget it. Your definition of love is kind of scary. Anyway, you wanted to take me somewhere. Do you know about that abandoned part of the core? Are you crazy? You want to go to that haunted place where people disappear? You know, seeing a two-meter-high goat shitting his pants is kind of unusual. Ch shut up! I'm not scared or anything. Okay, we're getting closer. The entrance is hidden, but if the rumors are telling the truth... Why is there nobody here? Can we go back already? Stop whining. Do you want your watchers on Undertube to see you acting like that? Watchers? Yes, I'm gonna make a recording for your channel to make it more interesting. It's my channel and my videos. Just trust me, okay? I don't remember asking you for help with my channel's development. Do you even watch your own videos before you post them? You're playing the same game all the time. I'm sick of these dumb jelly beans. So don't watch them. Besides, we only have three games in the underground. This one is my favorite. Your interest in silly dating simulators is just a big disappointment for the world. Have you ever tried playing it? I don't have to. I've seen all your gameplays. And you felt nothing? Nothing at all? No, it's just a game. But I've noticed you have a weird OTP there. Green Jelly and Homicidal Dorito, isn't it? Why? They both have totally opposite personalities and tempers. They would rather kill each other than fall in love. Ugh, you don't understand. You humans don't get these things at all. Green Jelly is so sweet and pure, 
He's the only one who can make Homicidal Dorito change into a better person. They're destined to be together. That's dumb. You know nothing about love. And you? Have you ever been in love? <laughs> Maybe. Me too. Do you, uh, love somebody, sis? Possibly. How about you, bro? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Has he? Asriel, I... <laughs> what? Sora! Am I... Am I falling again? Nice. Really nice. I'm gonna die without telling him. Couldn't have been better. My life is a joke. Bad joke. A lake beneath the core? Okay. That was beyond my expectations. I can say I was lucky this time. But anyway, where am I? It's so dark in here. It is an honor to finally meet you in person, Princess Dreamer. I am a loyal servant of your family. Allow me to help you, lady. Because as I can see, hot chocolate and dry clothes will be needed. Thank you, mister. I would be pleased if you would call me Gaster, my lady. Gaster? Funny, you said you're a servant of the royal family, but I've never heard of you. Oh, it was a long time ago. I would be surprised if the keen dreamer ever spoke of me. Why so? We had a little quarrel, let's say. I used to be the royal scientist with a weird point of view, which your father could not accept. Scientist? Yes, my dear. Forgive me my lack of modesty, but I am the one who built the core. You did? Wow, that's amazing! Why, thank you indeed. This invention is truly amazing, as you said. It provided electricity to the monster kind, so now you are able to use those small, fancy devices. Speaking of devices, my phone isn't waterproof, or should I say, it wasn't. Now it's just useless. I have to contact my brother somehow. I'm sure he's worried about me. Do not mind about him now. This situation will have a really good effect on your relationship. What was that supposed to mean? Well, Lady Dreamer, I have a strange power. I am able to see the past, the present, and the future. This moment of fear will make him understand his feelings towards you. How can you even know how he feels? What the hell are you? It's my magic. I also see a story of a child that has been born in a small village under the mountain. I see bandits that slaughtered the child's father. I've never told anyone about that. And... What has happened to the mother? Horrible story. Stop. The child climbed the Mount Ebbet for a very unhappy reason. I told you to stop! How do you even dare to talk about these things in front of me? How dare you know everything? Forgive me. Now you can clearly see why the king could not stand my presence in the castle. Yes, I see. And I... I have to go. Show me the way out. As you wish. But... before you go... I don't want to hear anything from you anymore. I have to warn you, Lady Dreamer. One day, another human will come to the Underground, and will take everything from you. And why should I believe in anything you said? Check the ruins tomorrow, in the morning. Decide yourself what is true, and what is not. Chara! Azzy? Bro? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine, and I'm sorry. You won't believe it, but I fell into a damn lake. I couldn't even call you. I know you're angry, and I can't blame you, but before you start shouting at me and stuff... Can you just shut up for a while? Okay, bro? Really, just don't say anything. I was dumb. I'm sorry. Do you even know how I've been feeling like? I thought I've already lost you. Azzy... I couldn't open that hole in the floor. 
I started looking around and everywhere and... But, but I got lost in this damn maze. Don't cry, I beg you. I, I had no idea what to do. Stop it. It was cute when you were eight, but now it's creepy. I'm here, alive, and in one piece. But I, I'm not mad at you. Actually, this is the happiest moment of my life. Because I've realized something. E yeah? I've realized that you're a derp that I have to care about. Otherwise, you're going to get hurt. So do not worry, I'm not going to let you go anywhere. Put me down, you idiot! But, honestly, I don't care if you're a human or a monster. Or if we were meant to act like siblings. I just love you, okay? It's okay. 100% okay. Because I love you too. You, you're my everything. Everything I have. And I can make any good or bad decision just to protect my everything. Help. Help me. Please. My leg hurts. There, there. Shh. I'll help you. Don't cry. Shh. You're such a brave girl. Trust me. The pain will be gone in a while. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. You made me do this, and you can't deny it. It's all your fault, Gaster. I can see that you are emotionally unstable after your first murder. However, blaming everybody around 